uptake in parts of the tumor. You can see the outline of the whole tumor here. You are watching the fight against cancer unfold before your eyes. Size of the tumor and its uh, metabolic activities. Being it is a revolution in molecular imaging. Instead of waiting months to determine if a treatment is working, researchers at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center are now watching the performance of their cancer drugs virtually in real time. These technologies are designed to say, is your tumor growing or is it going away? And they're designed to try and say, okay, if we have a potential therapy for you, is it working? Dr. Hirschman and his team measure how a tumor metabolizes or burns glucose or sugar. They can see the bright, colorful activity on the screen. If a treatment is working and the tumor is dying, its metabolic activity decreases and its image begins to fade. Uh, death of tumor cells there because we've got mass but no metabolic activity. Using positron emission tomography, better known as a PET scan, they can spy on the tumor's activities going beyond traditional CAT scans and MRIs. Most of the technologies that are used uh, in the clinic now in imaging uh, procedures measure the structure of tumors. Things like MRI and CT look at um, what a tumor looks like in terms of its density, its mass, its structure inside the body. Uh, what uh, molecular imaging does is ask whether or not a tumor is alive and functional. One of the very, very active programs going on at UCLA right now is an attempt to monitor whether or not cells of the immune system are traveling to a tumor and whether or not once they get to the tumor, they are becoming activated to attack the tumor. We can tell this within uh, a matter of hours to days, then we know whether or not this, this approach to immunotherapy is being effective. If we have to wait to look at the response in the tumor, we have to wait a much longer time. Once again, time is of the essence for these patients. UCLA researchers are also pioneering optical imaging strategies, borrowing the enzyme from the firefly to light their way. It is hard to imagine a more exciting time, they say, in the fight against this formidable, life-threatening disease. The molecular imaging technologies, we've increased our ability, I think, to diagnose cancer, to monitor whether or not it's growing and where it's growing, and to more quickly ask, are you responding to your therapy? And this is, this is what curing cancer is all about.